Finally, Taste Holdings. And the reason we're talking about them is because they own a business for a long time, National Wholesale Jewelry. Remember, Taste Holdings started off its life as a franchise operator, and it then bought its way into Arthur Kaplan. The real excitement there, though, is in the fact that it has the license to roll out Domino's Pizza in South mm. Africa. It has some traditional brands like the Fish and Chip Company, and then it has the Starbucks license. And we know that's gone well so yeah. far. It's been out with results today. Market capitalization, though, tiny. Of all the stocks we've talked about today, by far the smallest, 924 million mm -hmm. rands worth of market value. Price earnings ratio is not showing up as positive because of mm. costs associated and losses with the rollout yeah. and the dividend. I think they paid a dividend in the past, but they've also done lots of capital yeah. raising. Yeah. So re results out this morning. Um, what I, what I could see from those, you you're seeing the the effects of these big investments mm. into to scooters and into to Starbucks. So what mm. that means is they've scrapped the dividend. They've actually mm. um, cut it in these results. Um, Finance costs are, are doubling, the operational costs are doubling, and profitability is yep. obviously being affected as a result. So what you get is you've got the um, luxury goods section being attributable for the entire profit of the group. Yes. So they're doing all the heavy lifting at yeah. the moment yeah. while the big expansion plans are on there. And when Howard Schultz from Starbucks visited yes. the country, he said, hey, I've never seen queues like this outside of a new store. We must rather do 200 here instead of 20. Yeah. So that's all very well, but this company's got a 900 million rand market cap. Where's the money going to come from for that? Correct. So they, they did a rights issue end of last year, I think in around October, 200 odd million. They've got a billion rand medium term notes yeah. program. The, the investment case here hinges around, do you back the management team, Grant Patterson, Carlos Gonzaga, yeah. to yeah. implement and deliver on this, this big vision, which looks fantastic, or are they going to get tripped up somewhere yeah. along the lay, probably in the funding side of things? Yeah. No, but I mean, the, the demand, I suspect, will be there. The question is really whether they phase it and time it right. Yeah. Okay, so we own a few of those in the portfolio. They're sort of bounding around. They were up at five rands a share briefly when the Starbucks announcement came out. Then they've mm. come down again. Uh, we had a bit of a kerfuffle here on hot stocks <laughs> because there was some discussion like, should we kick them out? Bronwyn and I were disagreeing about yeah. that. We asked the viewers, we got a vote, which was like one vote in favor of keeping them and so on and <laughs> so forth. Yourself, would you buy them at current levels? Look, I mean, they, they've been marked down heavily th this morning on the results. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to wait on this one. I think mm. the, the, the group is, the, is you know, not, not quite a wild. coordinated <laughs> portfolio mix there. We're looking at the luxury goods. I don't think it's enough yeah. for me. Okay, good. I'm going to go with hot anyway, just because <laughs> you know, we're in for a penny, in for a pound. Okay.